Day by day, we discover something new about our past and our future. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most amazing discoveries that you might have missed. From nanoplastics found in human blood to bronze statues, here are the 15 most incredible recent discoveries. Number 15. Nanoplastics in human blood. Plastic is everywhere on our planet. I'd bet that you use this material daily. We use it to carry and store our food, we use it to make tools and materials, and it's pretty much around us every day. However, if there's one place that plastic shouldn't be, it's in human blood. And yet, for the first time ever this year, scientists found microplastics in human blood. This is yet another type of pollution. Almost 80% of the people tested by experts had tiny particles of plastic in their bloodstream most of which came from pet plastics used in drinking bottles, as well as polystyrene used in packaging food. Microplastics can affect a person if they're exposed to it through the air, water, food, and hygiene products, including lip gloss and toothpaste. Although microplastics, as their name suggests, are incredibly small, they're incredibly harmful once it enters the human body. Microplastics can damage human cells and cause DNA damage, inflammation, and other health problems. However, more research is needed to determine the health hazards of microplastics in the human body. What's more, we're still unsure whether these harmful particles can be excreted or if they'll accumulate in a certain organ. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Naughty Egyptian Students' Punishment There's no question that our ancestors from the past have similarities with us. In fact, even their form of punishment for students was similar to ours. Archaeologists recently unearthed over 18,000 pieces of pottery in an archaeological site in Egypt. The pottery was created 2,000 years ago, and each one was engraved with repeated symbols and lines. Experts thought that the patterns were a customary design used by the Egyptians, but it turned out that the markings were created by students who were punished by their teachers thousands of years ago. I know that some of you might have been punished by your teacher and were made to write an apology letter over and over again after class. It seems like it's an ancient form of punishment, but 2,000 years ago, children wrote on pots instead of paper. Instead of an apology letter, the children were made to write lists of months, numbers, grammar, exercises, and arithmetic problems. I guess the naughty students immediately regretted misbehaving after doing the punishment. What's more, Archaeologists also recovered shards with writings made by a student who got quite confused while writing the numbers 1 to 100 and wrote the number 86 twice. It's always interesting to learn more about ancient Egypt, especially how they lived their everyday lives. Number 13. Cockroach Cyborg That Can Save Human Lives From the past, let's jump into the future and take a look at the coolest invention recently created by researchers at the Riken Cluster for Pioneering Research in Japan. The international team of researchers developed an amazing rechargeable cyborg cockroach that can be controlled for different purposes. I know that a lot of you guys are probably terrified or disgusted by these creatures, but after hearing about what they can do, you might change your mind. These cyborg insects are meant to be used in search and rescue missions and other operations. Researchers use Madagascar cockroaches, which are insects that usually grow up between 2 to 4 inches long. These insects are easier to handle because they don't have wings to fly. The cyborg insects each have solar films attached to their backs, and each one has a wireless control module attached to their thorax so that they can be freely controlled wirelessly. Scientists successfully controlled the insects' movements, but unfortunately, wireless control requires a lot of power. It might take a while for the researchers to find a solution to this problem, so you don't need to worry about seeing cyborg cockroaches just yet. Number 12. The Romans Bought Gladiator Sweat Romans are known for a lot of things. They invented a lot of things that we still use to this day, from concrete to newspapers, books, and central heating. They're also known for their penchant for watching people fight to the death in a massive stadium similar to where we watch football today. We also study the past Roman emperors to this day. However, they also did a lot of weird things, including buying and selling gladiator sweat. Yep. You heard that right. But before I talk about that, let's talk about how ancient Romans stayed clean. Back in the day, the people of ancient Rome had a different idea of how hygiene should be. For one, they're known for their elaborate plumbing systems, heated public baths, and even flushing toilets. There's no question that they were far more advanced in terms of hygiene than other civilizations during their time. 
Ancient Romans also used a tool called strigil. It's usually made of bronze, while more luxurious ones were made out of silver or tin, and also had ornaments. Back then, people lathered olive oil all over their bodies, and the strigils would then be used to scrape off excess oil, along with grime, sweat, and dirt. For high-ranking individuals, servants were responsible for using the strigils on their masters' bodies. The body grime that came from gladiators was considered a hot commodity. Not only did people buy it for its alleged healing properties, but women also used it as a facial cream because of the belief that it helped the skin remain young and fresh. This healing but dirty body grime is called gloios. In historical records, this mixture is often described as a concoction with a funky smell. However, it was so precious and valuable that people went to the bathhouses just to scrape it off the walls. Only the gloios from athletes and gladiators were considered valuable, though. According to Pliny the Elder's writings, this mixture successfully healed several illnesses, including hemorrhoids, joint swellings, and inflammation. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it hard to believe that the smelly grime collected from bathhouses and statues had healing properties. But several researchers today argue that perhaps the Romans weren't really crazy for believing that Gloios could heal. You see, we still don't know everything there is about human microbiota, which are the tiny organisms living on our skin. There's a chance that the Gloios included healthy microbiota, which might have had healing properties. But to what extent, we still don't know. This ancient tradition prompts scientists today to study microbiota found on our skin extensively. It's a great discovery, but no matter what, I would never touch grime that came off of someone else's skin, no matter how athletic or healthy they are. No, thank you! Number 11. Scientists successfully grew plant in moon soil. Since the mid-20th century, astronomers and researchers from all over the world have been actively trying to find life in other places in the universe. So far, we still don't have any proof that life can exist outside our planet. But recently, researchers made an astounding achievement. A study made by scientists at the University of Florida led to the discovery that lunar soil samples can sustain life. The NASA-funded project aimed to grow a plant from the mustard greens family in lunar soil samples that were collected during the Apollo 11, 12, and 17 missions. The plant, known as Arabidopsis thaliana, is related to mustard greens, broccoli, cauliflower, as well as Brussels sprouts. The seeds were planted in lunar soil alongside a sample planted in volcanic soil. Both were regularly supplied with nutrients, and surprisingly, after two days, the seeds planted in the lunar soil began to sprout. But what does this result mean for us? Well, for one, this study helped scientists learn that it's actually possible for us to grow plants on the moon. It sounds ambitious, but in the future, we might be able to use this discovery to grow food for people on Earth and those who are involved in space explorations. Number 10. Farmer Finds Byzantine-Era Mosaic Recently, a farmer in Gaza who was planting a new olive tree discovered something strange on his property. He accidentally hit solid concrete while digging, and after examining what was underneath, he found one of the most amazing archaeological discoveries of the 21st century. Beneath his property was a floor covered with 17 iconographies of beasts and birds. The mosaic was incredibly well made. Archaeologists claim that the floor dates back between the 5th and 7th centuries, and it was most likely made by a civilization that traveled in the area between Egypt and the Levant in ancient times. Overall, about 5,400 square feet of land is covered by astounding mosaic floors. According to the owner of the land, he hopes to receive some sort of compensation for the archaeological discovery found on his land. Unfortunately, the property sits too close to the Israeli separation fence, and local archaeologists fear that it would cause problems and hinder their mission to protect the archaeological site. Number 9. Largest Pink Diamond Found in 300 Years In 2022, miners in Angola hit the jackpot upon the discovery of a massive rare pink diamond. The stone is considered to be one of the greatest pink diamonds found in the last 300 years. The 170-carat stone, which was named Alulo Rose, weighed 34 grams and was considered a Type 2A. This means the stone's impurities were close to none. This historic Type 2A diamond is considered incredibly rare, and it's most likely to be sold at an incredibly steep price. After all, a 59.6-carat pink diamond known as Pink Star discovered in 1999, was sold at a Hong Kong auction for a whopping 71.2 million U.S. dollars. 
For now, we still don't have an exact estimate for the worth of the Lulo Rose. It's quite impossible to determine the gem's value until it's cut. Number 8. Massive Geoglyphs in India The Nazca lines found in the Peruvian desert are one of the most renowned geoglyphs in the entire world. But to this day, these patterns are still shrouded in mystery. Although recently, Google Earth revealed the largest geoglyph on our planet. Hidden in the vast expanse of the Thar Desert in India are swirling patterns that were carved into the land. The massive motifs are geoglyphs that were created by an unknown group of humans that lived near the area hundreds of years ago. The geoglyphs cover about 51 acres of the arid Indian region near the border of Pakistan. Each of the patterns was made after digging up to 4 inches deep into the ground. Archaeologists are still not quite sure what the patterns mean or represent, but they're largely linked to the Hindu memorial stones found near the area. Number 7. 6,000-Year-Old Pit of Human Bones A group of archaeologists made quite a gruesome discovery in eastern France. The team excavating in Bergheim unearthed seven human skeletons piled inside a two-meter-deep circular pit, and among them was a skull section of an infant. None of the archaeologists anticipated what they then discovered. Further analysis revealed how brutally the people were treated before they died. Two men, one woman, and four young ones were killed in a raid. Their bones showed signs of being hacked off by axes and other sharp materials. What's more, several of the skeletons also had shattered pieces and severed limbs. There were also bone fragments in the bones that didn't belong to the victims inside the pit. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the remains date back to the Neolithic period about 6,000 years ago. Experts believe that the area where the pit was found was occupied by a violent group of people who kept the remains of their victims as trophies. The Bergheim pit isn't the first gruesome burial found, but it is considered the first evidence of people violently slain in raids and battles, especially in Europe. Number 6. Hidden Van Gogh Portrait If you recognize this painting, you most likely know who Vincent van Gogh is. I mean, who doesn't? To this day, many people are still fascinated by his artwork, and we're still trying to find any of his undiscovered, undocumented work. Recently, experts believe that they found a self-portrait of the artist. The conservators at the National Galleries of Scotland scanned a van Gogh painting known as the head of a peasant woman through an x-ray machine, when they discovered something hidden behind the painting. Hidden in plain sight on the reverse side of the artwork was a portrait of Van Gogh made by the artist himself. It was definitely a surprising find. The self-portrait must have been hidden by the artist by layers of glue and cardboard before it was attached to the canvas. The original painting where the self-portrait was hidden was painted by the artist in the 1880s as part of a series of artworks that focused on the working-class residents of a small farming community in the Netherlands. This hidden artwork is definitely not the first self-portrait of the artist. In fact, Van Gogh was actually quite fond of making self-portraits. He made about 20 paintings of himself toward the end of his life. However, it was a reminder that the artist never achieved the fame he deserved when he was still alive. The Starry Night painting created by the artist that's now seen everywhere today didn't receive any form of recognition during the artist's lifetime. For this reason, the painter often didn't have any money. Instead of hiring models, he practiced portraiture by doing self-portraits. It's quite sad to imagine that the world-renowned artist only received recognition after his death. Number 5. Scientists Revive Dead Organs Organ transplant is a life-saving procedure that has a lot of risks. Its success relies on many variables and has many complications, including the protection and compatibility of the organ to be transplanted to the patient. If a person decides to donate their organs after death, their organs must be harvested immediately after their heart stops pumping. Once the organs are removed from the donor's body, they're preserved carefully in ice to slow metabolism and cellular death. It isn't possible to donate a dying and damaged organ to a patient. There's no question that it would lead to death. This is one of the reasons why organ transplants are incredibly risky. But what if there was a way for us to keep the organs alive, or better yet, revive them? This is something that medical science has never managed to achieve until 2022. Experts announced that they found a way to overcome the death of organs, and their first successful experiment was carried out on the organs of several pigs. Researchers at Yale University claimed that they successfully revived the cells of the organs in pigs that had been dead for about an hour. Although this discovery is a medicinal breakthrough, it's still far from being complete. However, it's an important stepping stone for us. 
and it opens up the possibility of reviving organs, and perhaps even the entire body. And now, it's time for today's topic. The Bay and Har Mountains have been shrouded in mystery since early times. Recently, researchers revealed a terrifying discovery that no one was supposed to see. In the 1960s, researchers found strange disks in the mountains stretching over the Tibet-China border. All the disks were discovered in caves which were artificially carved. There were a total of 716 grooved disks, and they indicated something strange. The disks contained inscriptions of tribes hunting strange creatures with elongated limbs and abnormally large heads. Many believe that these disks weren't made by humans, but instead by creatures that visited our planet thousands of years ago. Not long after discovering the disks, which are now known as the Dropa Stones, scientists discovered something more terrifying strange skeletons that looked like they didn't belong to humans. The skeletons were buried near the disks, and they were as intriguing as the artifacts. The remains were only about four feet tall, with elongated limbs and abnormally large heads. Some of the skeletons also had incredibly small and delicate bodies. Could it be that aliens really visited our planet thousands of years ago? And if so, why do pieces of evidence about aliens keep getting ignored and dismissed? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Smallest Snail Species From afar, these small white grains look like small pebbles, but if you look closely, you'll notice that they're actually small shells. In February 2022, German and U.S. researchers announced the discovery of two snail species, one of which is smaller than a grain of sand. Today, this species is considered the world's tiniest snail living on land. These small and rather endearing creatures are called Angustapila samian and only measure between 0.46 and 0.57 millimeters in size. They were discovered in Vietnamese cave sediment, where the sand-colored shells perfectly blend in. These snails were so small that scientists needed to wash the collected sand samples in a tank and observe the shells under a microscope. Scientists are still unsure whether these snails are the smallest in the world, but they believe that it's impossible for snails to grow smaller than this species. The second species, however, is also worth talking about because of its strange habit of decorating its own shell with its own feces. These new discoveries make you wonder what other weird animals out there are waiting to be discovered. Number 3. 400-Year-Old Magic Mirror This centuries-old bronze mirror is nothing but a boring antique artifact until it shined with light. This mirror was previously stored in the East Asian art collection of the Cincinnati Art Museum. For 50 years, it was left undisturbed until someone discovered its secret. As it turned out, the simple mirror had a magnificent function. It can reflect an image of the Buddha surrounded by rays of light. In order for the Buddha image to appear, a strong and focused light must be shown in a particular spot of the mirror. Needless to say, all the researchers were flabbergasted by the astounding discovery. What makes this mirror more magical is the fact that it was made out of bronze. Before glass mirrors were invented, people from all around the world, from ancient Egypt to China, polished bronze into a reflective surface to be used as a mirror. Unlike glass, bronze isn't exactly an ideal material to create this mysterious effect. In order for a magic mirror to reflect an image of something, artisans must cast images and words onto one side of a bronze plate before carefully scratching and scraping the other surface until it becomes reflective. Although there are similar mirrors found all around the world, they're incredibly rare due to the sheer difficulty of creating them. In fact, when the first mirror was discovered in the 19th century, experts were at a loss as to how people hundreds of years ago managed to accomplish crafting them. Today, historians believe that only master craftsmen knew how to create these mirrors. Number 2. Medieval Ring in Near-Perfect Condition a metal detector hobbyist named David Board didn't expect to find anything valuable while exploring a field in Dorset County in southwestern England. When his metal detector alarm went off, he retrieved the object buried about five inches underground, expecting something less valuable. Perhaps some trash that someone threw away ages ago. He didn't expect to find a valuable and well-preserved gold and diamond ring. The gold band was a beautiful handmade accessory with a diamond at its center. Inside the band is an inscription engraved in French which read, I hold your faith, hold mine. David immediately brought the ring to the British Museum to be identified and authenticated. 
Experts concluded that the ring belonged to a wealthy man who lived in the 1300s named Sir Thomas Brooke. He was recorded as the owner of the land, and in 1388, there were records of him marrying Lady Joan Brooke. This means the ring that David found was centuries old. This romantic wedding ring is incredibly different from the wedding bands that we have today. These bands weren't mass-produced, and each one was carefully crafted by hand. After all, romantic and knightly chivalric love was at its heyday in the 14th and 15th centuries. Number 1. Two Dozen Bronze Statues Hidden in Italy In November 2022, archaeologists announced the discovery of more than two dozen bronze statues in the thermal baths in Tuscany, Italy. All of the statues look like they had only been buried a couple of centuries ago because of how well preserved they are. But in reality, all of the beautiful statues date back around 2,300 years. The statues were discovered at an archaeological site that was formerly used as a bathhouse during the time of the ancient Romans. One of the things the Romans are known for was their common bathhouse, which can be found throughout the Roman Empire. Roman baths were designed for relaxation and they included a wide variety of rooms and partitions. After all, many of the Romans were hedonistic. Similar to how people today enjoy soaking in their tubs while reading or relaxing, the ancient Romans also enjoyed soaking in the water while reading and socializing. These bathhouses are often adorned by beautiful and intricate statues which usually portray gods and goddesses. In fact, one of the statues discovered by archaeologists was created after the likeness of Hygieia, the goddess of health. What made the statues more valuable is the fact that they were surrounded by 6,000 bronze, silver, and gold coins. We've been continuously discovering a lot of valuable artifacts in Roman settlements, and each discovery proves how astounding the ancient Romans were. These are only some of the most incredible discoveries, and we'll surely have a lot more in the future. Is there a particular discovery that you're eager to learn more about? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, Check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.